Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. What you're looking at here is a version 2.0 of a favorite from the channel. We've been getting a lot of questions about it, and I've been wanting to revisit it with all the new techniques I've learned over the past six months or so, so here we are. Plus, it gave me an opportunity to make a pattern for those who have been asking, so that's good too. Link down below. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of it, or if you made the original and share a pic on Instagram, and I'll feature you in our highlights. So, without further ado... For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a skein of Red Heart's Super Saver Jumbo in burgundy. As for tools, a 4mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using 4 stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain Slip Stitch Single Crochet Half Double Crochet and double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 4mm hook and start off by making a chain that goes from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be, keeping in mind we will have about an inch for our underarm border as well. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 45, or that comes out to 10 and a half inches or 27 centimeters. And now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain and do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. Once we have that, we're going to prepare for half double crochet, insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet. Let's do the next one together. We're going to prepare for half double insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, we should have three loops on our hook, from here yarn over, and pull through three. And go ahead and put one half double crochet into every chain, making our way all the way down, but leaving the last one, because we're going to go in with an increase of two half double crochets into that last chain. So now that we've made our way all the way down to the end of our chain, we have just one chain left, and we're going to do our increase of two into there together. So all we're going to do is prepare for a half double crochet, and then into that last chain we're going to go in with one half double, and that is just one, and then go into that last chain with two half doubles. And then from there we're going to go in with our back loop slip stitches, but this next row is going to start off with an increase as well. So how we're going to do that is do a chain up of two and flip our work. And then from here, we're going to be inserting our hook into the back loop of the second chain that we have from our hook. So we're not going to be going into this one. We're going to insert our hook into the second chain's back loop. And from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And that is our increase for this row. So we're going to be increasing at the end of every row that we have. But from here, we're just going to go all the way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then once we make our way down to the end of this row, I will meet you guys back just to show you guys that we're going to be going in with our back loop half double crochets after this. And once we have made our way all the way down with our back loop slip stitch row, we're going to go in with a row of back loop half double crochets. So just to start that off with each other, we're going to do a chain up of two and flip our work. And then from here, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, go into that first back loop with a half double. Then we're going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way down. Once we make our way down to this last stitch, we are going to maintain doing our increase of two back loop half double crochets into that last stitch. And then the row after that is going to be back loop slip stitches. So how we're going to start that row off is by doing a chain out of two and then doing a back loop slip stitch into that second chain from our hook and then working our way back down. And we're just going to keep alternating between our back loop half double and back loop slip stitch rows until this portion reaches from mid underarm over to the front of our body making sure that the point that we have is going to end at the base of our neck as well. And then when we're putting this up to ourselves, we do want to make sure that we are stretching it as if we're wearing it, because these stitches do have some give to it as well. And then when we also meet each other back, we are going to make sure that we're meeting each other back along the top of our work. And then we can go across with our body portion from there. 
So I'll meet you guys back at the next clip so that I can let you guys know how many rows I have and then the measurements as well. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our underarm portion. As you guys can see, we have a bunch of our increased rows, but I ended up just having a total of 21 rows or that came out to about five and a half inches or 14 centimeters and that is unstretched. And now that we have reached this point, we're just gonna work our way straight across our chest with rows of back loop half double crochets and back loop slip stitches without doing any increases or decreases. And when we do meet each other back, we wanna make sure that we are ending along the half double crochet row because we have ended along the top right here with our last increase of back loop half double crochets. So I'll be meeting you guys back once we have this solid portion all finished up and then we can go in with our decreases from there. Alrighty, so we are back and we have just finished up going across with our body portion and it is pretty small, but only because we want the sides to come up really high because this is going to be a mock neck. So just to let you guys know, I did end up having a total of 28 rows or that's a total of seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters and that is unstretched. And we did end on our half double crochet row, but we didn't bring it all the way up because we want to do our decrease of two back loop half double crochets together because on the other side, that is where we ended. We ended on an increase of two back loop half double crochets. So I have worked my half double crochet row all the way up. I've left the last two loops and then now we can go in with the decrease section together. So going in with our decrease of two back loop half double crochets, we are going to prepare for a back loop half double crochet, insert our hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, and then we should have just one loop left. So go ahead and insert your hook into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops left on our hook. From here, all we're gonna do is do a yarn over and then pull through all four of those loops, and that is our decrease. And since we ended along the top, we can now go in with our decrease of two back loop slip stitches together. So just to start that row off with each other, we're going to do a chain up of one and flip our work. And to do our decrease together, we're gonna to be inserting our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, and then also into that next back loop. And from here, we should have three loops on our hook. All we're gonna do is yarn over and pull through all three of those loops that's on our hook. And that is our decrease of two back loop slip stitches. And we are going to maintain doing those two decreases just along the tops to match this increase section all the way down until we have the same amount of rows as our increase section over here. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have this section all finished up. All right, so we are back and I am all finished up with my panel. I ended up having a total of 49 rows or a total of 12 inches or 31 centimeters and that is unstretched. And then once when we have this, what we're gonna do from here is go along the top with a row of single crochet. So we're going to be putting two single crochet into each of our side half double crochet rows and we're gonna be skipping our side slip stitch rows. So let's get this started. From this corner, we are going to do a chain up of one. And into our first side half double crochet row, we're gonna go in with two single crochets. There's going to be some loops along the top that we can go into so that we don't need to go directly in the middle of our decrease half double crochet. So we're gonna find this top loop and go in with one single crochet. And then into the same row, there's going to be another loop along the top. I'm going to single crochet into there. We are going to skip our side slip stitch row and then head on over to our next side half double crochet row. And then we're going to find that top loop, go in with one single crochet, and find that next top loop with two single crochet. And we're going to maintain doing this going all the way down until we hit this corner. And then I'll meet you guys back because we are going to be inserting our stitch marker once we get to this corner when we do our chain out of one. So now that we have made our way over to this corner, what we're going to do from here is just do a chain up of one, insert our stitch marker, 
into that chain above one that we just made for ourselves and then continue on with the same pattern of putting two single crochets into each side half double crochet once we hit this corner we're going to do the same thing do a chain up of one insert our stitch marker into that chain up and then work our way back down with single crochets putting two into every side half double crochet and then when we make our way down to the bottom we're going to do a chain up of one and cut and then everything that we just did here including the single crochet row that we are doing right now we're going to do all this one more time for another panel and then i will meet you guys back so that we can seam it up together all right so we are back and we have just finished up making two of the same exact panels and what we're going to do from here is seam up the two sides the only thing that i have to tell you guys right before we get started is we want to make sure that the ribbing that we have is facing each other once when we are ready to seam it up and that is because the back side doesn't quite look the same so we're just going to make sure that we are sandwiching the ribbed portions on top of each other and then we are also going to be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of the front panel and then also into the bottom corner stitch of the back panel and now we are ready to get started on our seam and now that our hook is in through both the front panel and the back panels corner loops what we're going to do from here is insert our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel and into the first available stitch into the back panel at the same time so what we're going to do is insert our hook into that first stitch into the front panel and also into the first stitch into the back panel and then we're going to single crochet just like normal and that is our first single crochet let's do the next one together we're going to insert our hook into the next available stitch into the front panel and then also into the next available stitch into the back panel and then single crochet and we're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we hit our corner stitches or until we don't have any more left to go into and then we're going to meet each other back so that we can do our underarm portion together and now that we are back with our seam going all the way up our underarm portion what we're going to do next is our underarm detail just like how we have along this side so from here we're all going to start off by doing a chain up of six and that comes out to about an inch or three centimeters now that we have our chain up of six we're now going to do stitches that are smaller along the top and then wider along the base so what we're going to do is block off that last chain and do a chain up of one into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook we're going to go in with a single crochet into that next chain that we have we're going to go in with another single crochet and then into those next two chains that we have we're going to be putting one half double crochet into each so prepare for a half double insert into that next chain pull through pull through three and we have just one more left to do so prepare for a half double into that next chain with our second half double crochet and we should have just two chains left and into those last two chains we're going to be putting one double crochet into each of those so prepare for a double crochet insert into that second to last chain pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we have one more double crochet left so prepare for a double crochet into that last chain pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now that we've just done our last double crochet into our last chain we are now going to slip stitch it into the base 
And how that is going to work is we are going to count up one, count up two stitches, and then into that second stitch, we are going to slip stitch to close off this row. So insert and pull through everything. And now our first row is nice and attached. And we're gonna be doing a total of three of these rows where the outside stitches are skinnier and then the inside stitches are wider. So let's do the next two rows together. We're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches to work our way up to the next row and flip our work. From here, we're gonna do the same stitches that we did, but in reverse and going into the back loops. So we're going to start off with two back loop double crochets. So prepare for a double crochet. Insert your hook into that back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's our first back loop double crochet. We got one more left to do. Prepare for a double crochet into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next, we have a set of two back loop half double crochets, one into the next two stitches. So prepare for a back loop half double. Insert your hook into that back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Prepare for our last half double crochet into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. And we should have just two stitches left and we're gonna be putting one back loop single crochet into each of those. So into the second to last stitch, insert your hook into that back loop with a single, and then into that last back loop with our last stitch of this row, which is a back loop single crochet. And now that we have this, we're going to be repeating the first row that we just did, but going into the back loops. So let's do that together. We're going to start off by doing a chain up of one and flip our work. And into that first back loop, we're going to insert our hook with a single crochet. Into that next back loop, single crochet. Our next two loops is going to be one back loop half double into each of those. So prepare into that next back loop, pull through, pull through three. Prepare for our last back loop half double crochet into that next loop, pull through and pull through three. And we should have just two stitches left into this row and we're gonna be putting one back loop double crochet into each of those. So prepare for a double crochet. Into that second to last back loop, we're gonna insert with a double crochet. And then into that last back loop with our last double crochet. Once when we have our three rows, we're gonna be slip stitching it into the base the same way that we did for the first row. So we are going to count up one, count up two stitches, and slip stitch into that second to close off this row. And once we have these three rows, we're gonna be doing rows of back loop double crochets, going back and forth until we hit our corner stitch marker. So let's do the first row together. In order to work our way up to the next row, we are going to slip stitch up the next two stitches. So there's one, and then there is two. We're going to now flip our work. And from here, put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. So prepare for a double crochet into that next back loop, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two and we're going to be putting one back loop double crochet into every stitch that we have. And now that we've made our way down to the end of this row, what we're gonna to do to work our way up to the next row is do a chain up of three, flip our work, and then we can continue on with doing back loop double crochets, putting one into every stitch, and then slip stitching it into the base the same way that we have been doing. Go ahead and keep doing that, going all the way up until we hit our stitch marker, 
and then do a chain up of one end cut and then we can get started on the other side of our underarm detail together. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with one side of our underarm detail and now we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to be showing you guys how we're going to start this off. So how we're going to start off this other side is by inserting our hook into the outside stitch that we have into the first row from this underarm detail section. And we're doing this so that we actually don't have to seam this side up and have extra tail ends to weave in. It's a little bit easier for us. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Once when our hook is pulled through, we're going to do a chain up of one to secure. But this also counts as our first single crochet for this row. So I'll stick with you guys until we get to the second row just to remind you guys. But once when we have this, that is our first single crochet. So going into that next stitch that we have, we're going to go in with another single crochet. Once when we have that, just like in the previous side, we're going to go in with one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So prepare for a half double, go into that next stitch with a half double. And then also into that next stitch with another half double crochet. And we should have two stitches left and we're going to be putting one double crochet into each of those. And now that we've just gone in with our last double crochet, we're going to be slip stitching it into the second stitch that we have into the base, the same way that we've been connecting it into the base on the other side. So we're going to count up one, count up two, and slip stitch into there. And now the first row for this other side of our underarm detail is all finished up and we're going to do the second one together as well. So let's slip stitch into the next two stitches to work our way up to the next row and flip our work. And just like before, we're now going to be working into back loops. So into the first two back loops we have, we're going to be inserting one double crochet into each. So prepare for a double crochet. Insert our hook into that next back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and one more back loop double crochet into that next stitch. Into our next two stitches, we're going to be going in with one back loop half double crochet into each of those. So prepare for a half double crochet into that next stitch, and then also into the stitch after that. And just to close off this row, we should have two more stitches left to go in with one back loop single crochet into each. So into that second to last back loop. Insert your hook with your second to last single crochet and then into that last stitch which was our chain up of one from the previous row. We're going to insert our hook into there with our single crochet and we now have two rows and since we are doing these rows where they're skinnier along the top and wider along the base in sets of three we have one more row left to go into on this side so do a chain up of one flip our work and then do the same thing that we did along the other side. So two back loop single crochets, two back loop half double crochets, and then two back loop double crochets. And then from there, just like how we did on this other side, we're going to go in with rows of back loop double crochets all the way up until we hit our stitch marker. And then go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut and then everything that we just did here along this side do it on the other side and then I'll meet you guys back. Alrighty, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our underarm detail along both of our sides and we are actually ready to get started with the mock neck portion. The first thing that we're going to want to do is first make sure that our work is flipped right side out and by right side out I mean having our seams faced along the inside and having our ribbing faced up towards us. And then once when it is faced right side up, we are going to want to try this on and we're going to measure from this corner stitch 
going up and over our shoulder to this corner stitch that we have right here. And whatever that number is, keep that in mind because we're not going to use that number just yet. We're first going to insert our hook into the corner stitch that we have right here and then work our way across the body over to this next corner. So what we're going to do is take our hook and insert it into this corner stitch that we have right here. Insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Now that we've pulled through, we're going to do a chain up of one just to secure. And then we are all gonna make sure we are working our way across the body first, putting one single crochet into every stitch that we have. So just to do the first one with each other, we are going to be inserting our hook into this first stitch and single crochet and keep putting one single crochet into every stitch that we have and I'll meet you guys back at this corner. And now that we have made our way all the way across our body portion putting one single crochet into every stitch that measurement that we took in the last clip we are now going to make a chain of that measurement. Mine just so happens to be a total of four and a half inches or 11 centimeters so from here I'm going to start off by making a chain of 20. And now that we have our chain, what we are going to do from here is flip our work and then we are going to single crochet it into this corner stitch that we have right here. And we are single crocheting instead of slip stitching it so that it is easier to see this loop when we're going in with our next row. So this part is pretty simple. We're just going to insert our hook into this corner stitch and then go in with a single crochet. And from here, just like the other side, we're going to go all the way across, putting one single crochet into every stitch. Once when we hit this corner, make the same chain that we just made along this side. And then we are going to slip stitch it into this first chain up of one that we did along this corner. And then I will meet you guys back. Alright, so we have just made our way all the way around with our first row when it comes to prepping for our mock neck. And we just have one more preparation row to do. So that's going to be fairly simple. We're going to be going in with a row of single crochet, just putting one into every stitch slash chain that we have. But when it comes to going into the single crochets that we have going across the body, those are going to be going into the back loops. And then when we're going into the chains, those are going to be regular single crochets. So let's just get these first few started off with each other. So now that we've actually slip stitched into this corner stitch, what we're going to do from here is just do a chain up of one and then into this first back loop, we're going to insert our hook into there with a single crochet. Let's do the next one together into that next back loop, single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we hit our chain. And once we hit the chain, we're going to be putting one single crochet into each of those chains and then just maintain doing back loop single crochets across the body and then single crochet across the chain. And then I'll meet you guys back once when we are ready to go in with the length of our mock neck. All right, and we have just made our way all the way around with our second prep row right before we go in with the mock neck. And now it's just a row of back loop single crochets and then single crochets going all the way around. And once when we are here, we are going to want to figure out just about how long we want our mock neck to be. And I have already figured mine out. I want mine to be just about three inches or eight centimeters. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 12. Once when I have my chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain and do an extra chain up of one into the second chain from our hook or the chain that we blocked off. We're going to insert our hook with a slip stitch. So go ahead and insert your hook into there. I'm going to yarn over and pull through everything. Let's do the next slip stitch together as well. Insert your hook into that second chain. And then from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And let's do the next one together. We're going to insert our hook into that next chain, yarn over and pull through everything and go all the way down our chain, putting one slip stitch into each stitch. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can connect it into the base together. And now that we've made our way all the way down with our first slip stitch row, we are now going to slip stitch it into the base. So all that's going to be is finding that next available stitch that we have into the base, inserting our hook into there, 
with a slip stitch. So just yarn over it and pull through everything. And now this first row is nice and attached. And now let's get started with our next row. So in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to be slip stitching into the next available stitch into the base and then flip our work. Once when our work is flipped, we're now going to go in with back loop slip stitches. So we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. Let's do the next one together as well into that next back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. When we make our way down to the end, we are going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, working our way back down. And then we are going to connect it into the base the same way that we just did. And we're going to keep doing that, going all the way around the collar that we have. Then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it all up together. So we are back and we have just finished up going all the way around our collar with our mock neck. And that was just a bunch of rows of back loop slip stitches. And we're back because we don't have any more stitches left to go into. And then now we're just going to seam everything up. The only thing that I have to remind you guys is make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out when we are seaming this up because we want all of our seams to face the same direction. Once when everything is flipped in the correct direction, what we are going to do is the same type of seam that we did for the body portion. So we're going to be inserting our hook into the first available corner stitch into the front panel. And then we're going to insert our hook in through the corner stitch into the back panel. And mine just so happens to be our working yarn. But once when our hook is in through both stitches, we're going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to single crochet, making sure that we're going in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time. So to start this off, we are going to be inserting our hook into the first available stitch we have into the front panel and then into the first available stitch we have into the back panel. Once when our hook is through both of those stitches, we are going to single crochet just like normal. Let's do just one more together. We're going to be inserting our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel and also into the first available stitch into the back panel and then we're going to single crochet. Once when we have that, we are going to be single crocheting all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. Once we hit that point, go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can clean up our underarm borders. All right, so now that we have finished up seaming our mock neck, the last thing that we have to do is go in with a row of single crochet just to clean up our underarm border. So what we're first going to do is take a look at one of our armholes. And then we will be inserting our hook into the two middle rows that we have. So the easiest way to find that is to trace this seam going all the way up. And then it should be those two rows that we have that are skinny along the top and then wider along the base. Those two rows should be connected by the whole stitch and not by just the back loop. Cause as you guys can see, these are attached through the back loops. Once when we have figured out where those two rows are, we're going to insert our hook right in between those two. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. And this is going to be just a row of single crochet going all the way around. But into these first few side rows, we're going to have a couple of single crochets and then also a couple of side double crochet rows. So we're just going to do those first few together and then I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. What we're going to do from here, now that our hook is through our work, we're going to do a chain up of one. And the next three single crochets that we have should be within the next three rows that end on a single crochet. So we're going to in so I'm going to insert my hook into that next stitch, which should be a side single crochet. Put one single crochet into there, into that next stitch, which should be another side single crochet. One single crochet into there, 
and we should have just one more side single crochet. So we're gonna put one single into there. Once we have those three, we're then gonna be putting two single crochet into every side double crochet. So this is our first side double crochet right here. So into that gap, we're gonna go in with one single crochet and then into that same gap, our second single crochet. Let's do this just one more time together. Into this next side double, go ahead and insert your hook into that gap with one single crochet. And we have just one more to do into that same gap. So now there's two single crochets into there. Once we have that, maintain doing that going all the way up. Once we hit the base of our mock neck, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into each of those stitches. And then we're gonna repeat the same thing that we just did going down the other side of our armhole. Once we make our way all the way down, we're going to do a slip stitch into that chain up of one space and then do a chain up of one and cut and then do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. And now that we have done our single crochet along both of our armholes, we are actually all done. The last thing that we're gonna have to do is just weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in and our piece is all finished up. I think I'm thinking about fall a little too early with this piece, but it's my favorite season and I couldn't help myself, but let me know what colors you guys are thinking about making this in. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what your favorite season is and why. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this piece, give it a big thumbs up because it really, really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favor the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.